Hey everybody, welcome back to our Costco channel. I'm so excited to show you this awesome Korean snack that we picked up from Costco. Just Costco it! <laughs> Alright, here it is. Crispy potato corn dogs. These are from Kim's Choice. We're so lucky and fortunate to come across these because we love Korean corn dogs. Um, they go for like five to eight dollars each and we got a whole pack here for I'm sure a substantial savings. Check the thumbnail. I'm not sure how much we paid for it but I'm sure it's cheaper. Uh, and these are the cheese ones. Sometimes they have hot dogs. Sometimes they have hot dog and half cheese and half hot dog but this is all cheese. Um, but this one is all cheese as you can see and it has the potato uh, topping on the outside. These are prepared in the air fryer in just eight minutes. We'll make sure to put the nutritional information here on the side for you. Um, so you can take a look at that. Um, these are individually wrapped and there are eight. Eight? Yeah, in each pot. Beside here, there are preparation instructions, whether you want to use the microwave, the air fryer, um, or microwave and air fryer combination. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And then down here, uh, traditional convection oven. Okay. And let me see, let's dig in. These are pretty sizable and I can tell you they're on a stick already. So this is what it looks like. Um, each one of these has cooking instructions, uh, but not nutritional information. Uh, let me take one out of the pouch. Ah. So, you know, the girth is there, but it's a little shorter than what I'm used to <laughs> from the traditional uh, Korean shops. But let's pop this in the air fryer and I'll show you what it's like. BRB. All right, here they are. They say 355 um, for what? Like 10 whatever minutes for three or something. We ended up cooking four at 15 minutes at 355 in our Ninja air fryer. Um, these are extremely hot coming out of the air fryer, even the stick itself. So be very careful. It looks pretty crisp and yummy really. And I know at the Korean places, they sprinkle uh, sugar on this as well, so you can do that optionally. Potato? Yeah, that was a little burnt potato. Queenies? It's basically mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese, batter, and some fried potato pieces on the outside. I think it could use some sugar or even some salt or ketchup or something. It's not salty? Ooh, look at that cheese. Queenie, cheese. Go, sit. Turn around. Turn the other way. The other way. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so these do give a satisfying crunch if you're, you know, if you're craving the munchies. And it was pretty easy to make. I'm getting more flavor now that I'm taking a few more bites. Let me try it. I do wish they carried the one with the hot dog or sausage oh, on the inside. Sliding down. Yeah, see, so yours is sliding off the stick too, and mine is also sliding off the stick, so be very careful. I noticed that the stick is not very firm um, on this thing. There's a good amount of batter, so that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you're looking for and what type of person you are. It's very good. I like it. Mmm. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. There's more flavor in the potatoes. Yeah. So, I would probably buy these again. It's something good to keep in the fridge. It's pretty tasty as long as you eat it, you know, with a good amount of the potatoes on the outside. I think the potatoes are the only things that are seasoned that gives it flavor. Otherwise, it's just mozzarella and batter. The stick does come loose, so beware of that. But I like it. I would give it a thumbs up, and I, I would recommend it. 
So hopefully this was helpful for you. Good luck in finding this. I thought we'll ever find this again because uh, that's just how our Costco is. You see something good and they sell out and that's it. But if this is your first time to our channel, please subscribe, thumbs up, hit that bell notification so you don't miss our future videos. Let us know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you can find these and I'd be um, more than happy to see what you guys think about this product. But until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.